Woohoo! How well do you know Home Depot now? <laughs> Pretty well. I could probably start working there and know where everything is. <laughs> it was movie night and we watched American Underdog. Highly recommended actually. Like if you like the movie Moneyball, have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of has a similar type of thing, you know? It's like true story, it's about sports, but you don't have to be like a sports fanatic to understand it, you know? Good movie. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Also, Carrie snuck in some bubbly into the theater. <laughs> Sony sent me a little holiday gift. Grounds and Hounds Coffee actually carries a big fan. Oh, and look at that little pour over set. Also got a thing from Airy as well. We just got a PO box, so we just went and picked it up. Some alcoholic beverages. Hell yeah, some Cabernet. Three, three bottles of wine. Carrie, are you ready to get wasted later off some of this? Yeah. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is like a legit basket. You know how you know that you're in your 30s, it's like a gift basket with like snacks and what, it's like the coolest thing. <laughs> I'm stoked about this. There's other things that happen when you're in your 30s. For example, if you're in your 20s and you see your friend fall on his face, you point and laugh. But in your 30s, you kind of go, whoa, 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 you all right? You really actually have a little bit of concern. So this is from Insta360, it's a beanie. Oh, we should give this to Dylan. They make the best 360 camera. Oh, this is from Maddie. If you didn't hear yet, we finally launched the clothing brand I've been talking about. Thanks, Maddie, and congratulations on the clothing line. I think this might be under embargo still. Ah, photography gloves. Okay, this is interesting. I can actually see this being really useful if you're gonna go shoot at a place that's really cold. Like, flying FPV drones while we were up in Tahoe was pretty difficult because my finger starts stiffening up. But check it out, you could wear the gloves and then you just reveal your finger. Okay, this is kind of useful. Hi. Are you sick of the rain? <laughs> uh, I would like some sunshine. The dogs would like a walk. Whoa! <laughs> I don't even think they know what we're showing them. The door, the final door has been installed in the house. We actually didn't have a door for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the baseboards. Carrie's very excited about the baseboards yes. and the trim on the door. It's like the little things that make such a big difference. Just that little bit on the floor. Oh, so nice. It is now the last day of 2021. So New Year's resolution time. Number one is to try to be more disciplined. I definitely lost a ton of discipline over the last two years. Just kind of doing whatever I wanted at that moment. So if I was like, I'm hungry right now and I feel like going out and eating, I'll just go and do it. I'm like, yeah, I wanna spend a bunch of money on this thing, I'll just, I'll just go do it. So I'm trying to be more disciplined on like how I organize my time. My attitude totally shifted from I'm gonna take on the day to more just like, this is what I feel like doing. I wanna get back into that mental state of like set aside time for my work and get the things done I need to do. And as long as I'm realistic about how long things will take to get the things I want done, then I should have some time left over to do whatever. But yeah, one of the big things is definitely like, you know, having more control over my spending habits. This is next year, okay? This is still 2021, so I got myself something really nice. I don't know about you guys, but I hate using this thing and I have to level out these countertops and I really do not feel like spending all day just going like this. Wow, well, I'm not gonna shine it into the camera because this is how you bake a sensor, but check that out. So this is a self-leveling laser, so I just have to attach it with this quarter inch or magnetically, and I have a perfect level. It's pretty freaking cool. You think it's worth the $200 we spent on it? Yeah, if it means you don't have a mental breakdown when you build the kitchen, then yes. <laughs> New Year's resolution number two is to make sure I focus on mental health. I'm gonna continue doing therapy. I just switched therapists, and I think this new therapist, way better. Like we actually like connect in a way, and he actually understands what I'm saying, opposed to the previous ones where it really just felt like I was being kind of pushed through a curriculum. How about you, Carrie? What's your resolutions? Better self-care. Feels weird talking to the camera by myself. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I have terrible discipline with food. I can be disciplined in a lot of other areas, but food is, is hard for me. Look at that. Fresh new style to kick off the year. Testing 
these fabric swatches to see which one is easier to get dog hair out of. <laughs> I don't care about the color or the texture. It's about getting the dog hair off. So I kind of rub it in there and then I try different methods of getting it off to see which one's the easiest. This is how we decide what kind of fabric we want our sofa to be. It's very important. All right, so we finally got the layout of the kitchen generally in place. Are you happy with the layout? Well, I designed it, so yeah. This is gonna be the peninsula with like the little hangout bar thing and just using a door to just kind of hold it in place. I mean, it works for now. Also in this video, I would like to announce my official retirement from DIYs, like house stuff. I think we're gonna hire professionals because it's just one of those things that I really enjoy doing, but that's what makes it dangerous is that I enjoy it that once I start, I don't wanna stop until I'm done. And then all of a sudden I'm exhausted and I don't get anything else done. It's fun when everything goes smooth, but then rarely has anything gone smooth. Like we put drywall up in the garage and then we found out that we put the wrong size in apparently because in the garage, the drywall thickness is slightly. So then the contractor came and was like, you're doing this right. And then he took everything off and also you have to put in this many amount of screws. So we basically wasted a bunch of times doing that. Home renovation is a trap. That's what it is. It seems like this really fun thing that you get to do and use power tools and it's cool with saws and sparks and stuff. And then halfway through, I'm just like, why? Did I do this? Yo, what you think of the kitchen, bro? Looks like a kitchen. A nice if, door on your table. Oh uh, yeah, no, it uh, used to be a closet door, but now it is a countertop for now. Artistic. Check it out, this is like a toaster oven that stands up, so it takes less space on the counter. That's why it's wow. called a ninja, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know how I retired from doing this DIY stuff? Well, turns out once you build out the cabinets from Ikea, they can no longer come and install it for you because of liability or whatever. So. I guess I'm forcefully being pulled out of retirement. <laughs> oh, my life. It's awesome. I do want to try a new microphone out, Sennheiser MKE 400. They sent this to me a little while ago. I've been a little bit hesitant because what I like about the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus that I'm using right now is that it has a safety channel. So you press two of the buttons and it makes the left channel louder than the right channel. So in case I clip, I have a backup channel, which is really nice. But let me try this out. I'm plugging. I do like how low profile this mic is. We'll try this mic out for the rest of the vlog and you tell me if it sounds decent or not. Let's pop up some comments from the last vlog. Take a year, both of you and the dogs. Travel the states and make a whole bunch of where to go videos and review of places. You guys are made for it. We definitely wanna do a solid Pacific Northwest trip. And we also want to do like a East Coast trip, stop by, see our friend in Texas, and then stop by like New Orleans and then end up in Florida and try to do that at some point. Zach says, although she's kind of forced to, it's fun to watch <laughs> Carrie become such a vlogger on camera as this channel goes on. No. We're here for Carrie as much as she, she can really carry a the vlog. I don't want to. It's funny because both you and Dylan, neither of you guys want to be on camera. You're just kind of <laughs> like there and I'm like, here's a camera in your face. And you're like, okay. <laughs> I love your vlog channel. You two are so great. I could watch for hours. See, these comments, like, they blow <laughs> my mind. I'm like, I swear we're not that interesting. But how's the mic quality, by the way? How's that? And also, I'm recording in 4K in H.265 at only 50 megabits per second instead of 100 megabits. I'm testing this out to see if it looks decent. I don't think the data rate's really enough for all scenarios, but maybe for, like, simple stuff where we're just, like, standing here. Data rate is like how much storage does it take up per second or per minute of footage. And 50 is actually very low. That's what we're recording on right now. I think now I just you know. tuned you out for all of this. <laughs> I'm not allowed to watch your vlogs without the wife. Please continue to include doggo footage every chance you get. Hi wife, thanks for hanging out and, <laughs> and joining and watching and here's this footage is just for you. We had a licensed contractor come here and give us a quote on the bathroom. I want you guys to guess in the comments how much the quote is for just the labor, not the parts, okay? So this is the tub and shower, so that just has to be demoed and you know, these walls, these towels are coming off and just being replaced with drywall and a new one of these vanities. Now he said generally around four to 5,000 for the parts and supplies, but guess how much the labor part is? Licensed contractor, we found them on Yelp, four and a half stars with hundreds of reviews and whoever gets the closest, we'll talk about in the next vlog. How do you think the guesses are gonna come in? I think people who have done it before uh -huh. are gonna be really close. But I don't think that many people know Los Angeles pricing either because it's a little bit different. I think we're gonna have a few people who are right like- Pretty accurate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Let us know in the comments and we'll let you know who's right. <laughs> Why are you dressed up like that? Oh, it's a new shirt I got. Oh, for well, free. You look, you, for free? Yeah. How'd you get it for free? Because so my friend works at the Levi's store and on a Christmas party, you just had a bunch of the shirts and stuff that they aren't going to put on sale. So it's like, here, just take stuff. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Score. Yeah. yeah. Well, first, Carrie and I have to go and uh, get a COVID test because we have to go to Canada and... <laughs> Two days. You're going into Canada? Canada. <laughs> I'm excited. I just I was hoping we were gonna go there in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how much we're allowed to talk about what we're doing over there, but we'll eventually be able to probably in like the next vlog or something like that. But busy day. Lots going on this week. So we'll probably have to wrap up this vlog and get to business and uh we'll see you guys on, on the next week. Peace. <laughs>